Welcome, Gemini. This is the energy vibration reading for the business for the month to offer work, career, and business and wealth. So, Gemini's, there is a lot that is going up. All right, Gemini's, you're dealing with the Queen of Wands. Whoever this woman is, is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So, you could be taking on the energy of moving forward having this inner strength of moving forward okay so gemini's you gotta be aware of this there is a lot that is going on so as we look in the first week gemini's for the people who are at work i see some obstacles some burdens okay oppression is um at work a lot to do and for the business people some of you are dealing with um um this person who is a young um you young ladies in business you are focusing on you know releasing whatever obstacles is here for you to release because obviously some of you are really 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 dealing with uh, some issues and some of you um need to take on so i see a lot of people around you um gemini's really a lot of people are around and a lot of situations are happening i see some of you have heartbreaks with the queen of disc um that is heartbreaks um but i see some of you doing well now what is transpiring especially the first week and the second week we're going to be looking at the first week and the second week together now the energy of the first week and the second week what is transpiring is that there are obstacles that is here now however you look at this and these obstacles is that some of you are trying to move forward in passion in passionate way some of you are really trying to move forward releasing but some of you are, are, are feeling down and in your head at work as if you know am i doing this how should i do this there's just so much that is going on now when it comes on to business i see some of you are dealing with three people um two people you're dealing with two old, old lady which is one is an fire sign and one is a capricorn taurus virgo or capricorn now whoever these people are and whatever is transpiring i see you are having competition with these people and there is some worries that is coming up in the second week going in the third week because in the second week going in the third week I see some worries that is going to be coming up because whatever is transpiring as you guys can see there is some indulgency the eight of cups there's definitely some indulgency um, that is going on so there's lots to do a lot of opportunities that is going to be coming up and um, a lot of positive alignment of energy but i see a lot of you especially if you just started a job i see you're kind of worried because you're um some of you are feeling heartbroken and it, you're kind of worried as to how things are going to be going but there's no need to worry because as you, you leave um the third week going in um the fourth week i see you're going to be very successful because what you're seeing happening here is that uh, a lot of uh, um opportunities going to come up in a business but at work i see you dealing with the queen of cups and wh whoever this queen of cups is you're going to be successful success this queen of cups could help you to be successful or this queen of cups could be working against you so it depends on what way you're looking at this because these are the energy of disc okay so this is the, this um as you look at the second week going in the third week there is a lot of deceptive people on the work floor, deceptive situation on the work floor and there it could be created by an aries leo or sagittarius but whatever the deceptive thing is um, this person is now worried and you are not worried because you know and you stand your ground and this person is basically worried but you're like I know my work and I'm not going to worry about it okay so you need to release the worry so the the second week going in the third week there is some negative forces negative energies around you on the work floor but not to worry as we go and look at uh, the people who have their business uh, 
I, I see that there is no need to worry. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. I see this person is going to be offering you um, more. It's as if they're going to be giving you more um, clients and that sort of a thing, or they're going to be wanting to work with you because they want to give you more clients. This is, this is really coming up. So if you notice Gemini's, there's a lot that is going on here, but it is in a positive um, alignment of energies because I see these older people coming in and it's really, really, really um, working towards to help you guys. As you look at the third week coming in the fourth week, you're leaving the negative energies is in the, in the third week and on the work floor. And again, Gemini's, you don't have to worry because six, you're going to be very successful. Gemini's, you're always successful. Whatever is going on, um, with you, Gemini's, you're going to be successful. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, um, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion woman, and you're going to be successful over this person. So there's no need in January to worry. Okay. As we look at the, um, the people, uh, as we come and we look at, uh, let's do the people on the work floor and then let's do the people. I see the seven of ones. This is good. The seven of ones is passion. I see a lot of offers is going to be coming in. A lot of opportunities is going to be coming in. And this is going to be good because what is, what is here and what is transpiring is that, uh, especially in business, the seven is that you're on the good part and you're going to be successful. Okay. Out on the work floor is that whoever this queen um, is, this is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion woman. I see um, some of you are trying to find inner strength to deal with this person, but it's okay because you're going to be successfully overcome whatever issues this person has thrown at you. And you are going to be standing your ground strong and finding in the strength and standing your ground strong against this Queen of Cups. So this is really wonderful and it's really good because uh, um, at least you guys know what is coming up, but I see you're going to be successful. I see there's a lot of work and it's as if people are throwing a lot of work on you the, the third week going into fourth week, you're kind of heartbroken, but in business, it's looking good because this is a lot of work, but yet still, I see you're going to be successful because I see, um, you're going on the right part because there are, um, positive things that is on the horizon for you guys. And as you look at this, you are seeing that in business, abundance is, is here. In business, there is abundance here. And as you realize there is a lot of abundance, a lot of people who are going to be wanting to work with you and to collaborate with you in your business. So, uh, you know, however way you're looking at this, don't look at it as if it is hardship or whatever. Look at it as if people are pushing you um, to find, for you to find that inner strength to show people that you're good at your work on the work floor. So some of you could have a supervisor that is um, um, uh, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, but you're going to show this person that you're going to be successful with whatever she brings at you. You are going to be successful. So um, this is really wonderful. I'm sorry. This is really wonderful. In business, I see a lot of offers is going to be coming in. A lot of business is going to be coming in. I see that in business for you guys, I see your business is really going to be taken off. I see you're going to be rebirthing. Um, this is the princess of this and she's pregnant. So it's as if your business is about to take off. Success is here and there is no need to worry you Gemini because of your business, you have the princess of this, this princess of this in business, meaning that this business it is it is the birth of something that is going to explode and a lot of offers is going to be coming in so be aware of this that expect a lot of offers to come in because you are going to be realizing how successful you are going to be because your business whatever you have started i see people are going to be coming in and helping you out and uh, this is the direction to go in. This is what they're telling you in the fourth week because it's going to be a success. And uh, 
um, abundancy. You're going to start seeing driplets of abundancy coming in in the fourth week. So, um, and in the fifth week, that is when the floodgates offers the business offers is going to be coming in and this is going to be very positive so if you notice the seven of ones is once is always about speed it's always an abundance is on the here where there is going to be a lot of people that want to connect with you and work together with you and this is going to be really wonderful and really positive so um gemini's you are really really having a wonderful powerful um um month of january having the energy of the princess in pregnancy that means whatever you take on um in work and business it is going to be a successful and it's going to bring you a lot out of it okay so um gemini's um if you would like a more in-depth and extended of this reading um, you um, can connect with the link below and order your own personalized reading, whether it's for your business or whether it's for work, because you will ex um, receive a more um, extended reading that is going to give you. And this reading is going to be exactly for you. So I want to say to you guys, I'm wishing you a wonderful month. Success is here. Um, all this is going to be coming in. Abundancy is going to be happening. So, namaste until next time.